welcome to the video um, in this video we are basically trying to um, get the data from a word file using python so let me show you what is our task for today so we have a word file which, which is basically nothing but the resume so let's assume you are asked to design a software in which you have to extract all the email the phone numbers and all the essential information uh, from the word file or the pdf file so whoever candidates who submits their resume online you want to extract data from that so how do we do that in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to do that so let's get started so i already have um, so for this uh, you have to uh, download a download a library known as doc2 text so what you can do is open your pycharm IntelliJ or whatever you're using go to file go to project structures and um, uh, select your Python module. I am using Python 3.7. Go to packages and there. And at the bottom section, you would see a small plus icon. So make sure to click that and just type the name of your library. So you know it's talk to text. Talk to txt. So uh, so it's doc to text. So here you see. Um, so just go to project structures plus icon right there oops sorry for that forgot to select the packages and uh, here you see and you can hit the install button or if you want to do, if you don't want to do this open a terminal and simply say pip3 install pip install uh, the name of the module of course so in my case it's talk to text so this will make sure that this module is being installed here you can see collecting this module so once you have this module we uh, we can go ahead and uh, start the procedure so i have this word file uh, and the name of the file is resume.docx uh, so what you can do is basically uh, we need to import uh, doc2 text all right so once that is done we need to read the file right so the way it, we do that is with this line of code so if i now just print the text content from the word file and uh, if i run this code so sure enough you have all the text from the word file here you can see so the education qualifications the projects and all the links and stuff like that so now one thing is uh, whenever anybody submits a resume online i want to extract just the email id so the way to do this uh, in python is using regular expression so let me quickly give you a small tour of regular expression for this example so first of all we need to say pattern right re.compile then we're going to say r and here we'll be adding our um, regular expression so remember now what do we need to do we need to we have this email id right uh, let me just zoom in a little bit all right so this is the email id s-o-u-s-h-e-h so uh, the first of all i need to uh, select the first section of the email so the way to so it's basically nothing but an alphabets from a to z right so so in regular expression we can do something like a to z capital a to capital z so if i now run this now i'm just gonna make sure matches equals to pattern dot find letter and this is gonna be taking an argument known as text so this is the text that we are giving it now we're just gonna run a for loop for x in matches I'm just gonna say print x so let's run and see what do we get the output after this so if i run this quickly so here you see it's matching all the text right now can you see that but we want to match not all the alf alphabets we want to match just the specific email id so i can say from a to z and the plus symbol uh, indicates that a uh, match zero or more than that so up to at so this means uh, the the first name can be anything can be any alphabets and match up to at the symbol at the rate so if i'm trying to run this code quickly so here you see we got the match i show you s h e h at the rate now now comes the second part um, from this word file we uh, we read the word file we got the uh, the first email now we also need the domain name and the .com or .edu so the way you do this in regular expression so i can say again so uh, my email was what uh, my name 
at the rate my dot now i need to match that so how do i do that it's pretty easy so you can say a to z a to capital z uh, so this, this is going to make sure that it will match so here you see now it's matching m but now i i want to match i'll just add a plus uh an asterisk mark basic because this will match basically let me just pull up my notes so it's going to match zero or more that means uh zero alphabets or more than that so we have more than that right so let's just run this and see what happens so here you see now we have my beautiful um no, but now we need to match dot com dot edu dot dot stuff like that so let me just copy this regular expression that i wrote and uh, try to explain you what it is doing so going through this regular expression a to z a to z so that means from uh, alphabets a to z that is small characters lower case to the capital characters of course and we also want to see numbers because email id also has numbers right like uh, somel12 at the rate gmail.com or test345 at gmail.com but we also have underscore so we also want to include that in our regular expression and the plus symbol specifies um, one or more so match one or more up to at the rate symbol so up to the at the rate symbol it's going to match this then we have the domain name remember that is uh, my dot so a to z a to z and followed by the hyphen and the dot that means it's going to match the domain name this symbol specifies that um zero or more so basically it's going to match zero or more alphabets and at the end i want to match the domain name which can be dot com dot tdu dot net so if i try to run this regular expression so here you see we got the email id so we successfully opened a word file then we then we extracted the email from the word file um so now to extract the contents we can just say dot group and zero so if you say zero it will grab the entire uh, email id so here you see so that's it so now we grabbed so we basically made a software uh, through python in which we can read the word files or the pdf files and grab the email ids and um, the phone numbers uh you can also convert this uh software into a web app basically it's just develop a form on flask and you can host it on haroko website so that's it for this tutorial um uh if you have questions please post them on the comment section and i shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and i will what i'll do is i'm going to leave this code in the description section below so you can go to my github account and download the code Uh, as usual thank you for watching and if you have any questions or anything please let me know by doing that in the comment section below and i shall see you in the next video thank you so much